ന്യൂസ് എയ്റ്റീൻ കണ്ണൂർ കേന്ദ്ര ധനമന്ത്രി നിർമ്മല സീതാരാമൻ മാധ്യമങ്ങളെ കാണുന്നു ലോഞ്ചിങ് ഓൺ ദ ട്വന്റി ഓണറബിൾ മിനിസ്റ്റർ ടേക്കിംഗ് കെയർ ഓഫ് ദ ലേബർ അഫയേഴ്സ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ റൂറൽ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് വാസ് ഓൾസോ എക്സ്പെക്ടഡ് ടു ജോയിൻ ബട്ട് ഫ്രം എ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ലൊക്കേഷൻ ഹോവർ ഐ തിങ്ക് ദർസ് എ ബിറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി ഇൻ ഹിം ജോയിനിങ് അസ് സോ ഇൻ ഇസ് ആബ്സെൻസ് ഐ എം ഹിയർ ടു ഡു ദിസ് പ്രസ് മോർ എസ് എ കർട്ടൺ റേസർ to the launching of the garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan by the prime minister on the 20th what i will do to start with is to give you a broad picture of what exactly is this all of us are aware that workers from all over the uh, country uh, shramik men women after some stages during the lockdown wanted to go back to their villages and the both the state and central governments tried making a lot of arrangements giving them trains buses and so on so they have gone back we have from government of india together with the state governments seen which are the districts to which they largely have returned the slide presentation which will be presented by shri amadeep sinha sorry the secretary rural development will actually get into the details of which are those districts to which shramik in large numbers have returned we are able to say approximately 116 districts have received big numbers of them the exact numbers and other things will be shared 116 districts they are spread over six states in all not to say that they may not be others going to other uh, states but largely the 116 districts that we have identified have received large number of them substantial number of them and those 116 districts are spread over six states the details will be given during the slide presentation now in those districts both state and the central government have very meticulously mapped the skills of these people skill sets whether they are totally unskilled or partly skilled largely those who have worked in construction and such areas in urban centers where they were and so on so they have reached some mapping of their skill sets have been done now what the sabyan which the prime minister will be launching from the kagaria district in bihar on 20th will do is now within 125 days nearly 25 schemes of the government are all going to be brought together and within those 125 days we shall reach saturation levels for those each of those schemes so if it was a jal jeevan mission or if it was anything to do with you know uh, laying of pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana or building awas yojana and so on awas yojana which gives houses for the poor but if there are activities related to that which requires labor component they will also be brought like that there are 25 works of government of india in which all the 25 being brought together for those districts where we have identified this number of shramik who have gone back everyone who needs the assignment will be given the jobs and under the 25 different works the objectives which have to be achieved will be achieved using the shramik who are there having returned from different parts of the country the monies which have been allotted to these projects budgeted amounts and if ne- necessary anything more will all be added together at the moment broad total that i can disclose to you all it's about 50000 crores 
we are pulling all these from the 25 different projects bringing it together so that at the district level in these 116 districts for those 25 projects shramik who have returned will all be used to complete those projects within this 125 days there are some which are going to get affected by monsoon such as laying of roads which may extend further there are some which are post monsoon activities which may also continue after that but largely on a broad indicator we want to front load the monies allotted for these 25 different works for those 116 districts some of whom are aspirational districts and ensure that all those shramik in those districts are going to be given employment and therefore for them for the next four months we are clearly showing a direction through which their skills their man man days person days will be used so that assets will be created in those districts whether it is digging of wells pottery sheds or laying of gram sadak yojana roads or building some panchayat uh, you know uh, buildings like for instance yesterday we had announced from the finance ministry that we have released the fifth uh, the 15th finance commission recommended monies for the local bodies so with all those monies going to the villages now with these shramik being used for activities concrete activities through which assets can be created shramik get their work their livelihood is ensured asset creating activities at the district level considering that many of them are aspiring aspirational districts the objective of rural development will also get fulfilled and i'm glad to say to recall that in our budget and also during the announcement during atmanirbhar abhiyan announcements we had come up with the viability gap funding for building agriculture related infrastructure for ensuring that those farmer productive uh, farmer producer organizations will go into the villages to create agri processing units now all of them are being brought together so that there's a synergy monies are being pooled in towards asset creation with a time limit given and shramik can be sure that where they have gone back they have work given to them this is a broad picture i won't uh, take too much of time to start my intervention i request the secretary rural development to show you the details of uh, what exactly this is how it's going to pan out post that of course we are ready for your questions thank you garib kalyan abhiyan yojana kya thodakam aayirikunu clearly articulating uh, the philosophy behind the garib kalyan rozgar hai abhiyan which aims at uh, providing meaningful livelihoods uh, to the uh, migrant workers who have gone back to the 